The Chicago Bears finished the 2021 NFL season with a record of 6-11, a season that included a five-game losing streak. And at season's end, the organization decided to part ways with both head coach Matt Nagy and general manager Ryan Pace that is going to start a rebuild in Chicago. Matt Nagy finished the Chicago Bears tenure in four years with a record of 34-31 and that included two playoff appearances and an NFC North Division Championship in his first season in 2018. Now, while Matt Nagy did not have a losing season until this year as the Chicago Bears head coach, the problem with the Matt Nagy era lies a lot deeper than what the record actually says. And in today's video, we are going to cover what went wrong with the Matt Nagy era with the Chicago Bears. But before I get into that, make sure you guys leave this video a like and also click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you will not miss a single video. But without further ado, let's dive into it. I'm striving to get rich. That's why I always win two years without buying shoes and feet. Things change now. My mom hearing me when my music and she look a little proud. Matt Nagy's coaching tenure with the Chicago Bears got off to a very hot start as the Bears finished 12-4 in 2018 and won the NFC North Division Championship for the first time since 2010. With the Bears offense finishing 9th, they had the league's top-ranked defense, they had an 11th-ranked rush offense, as well as the league's best run defense. That 2018 season seen Matt Nagy win coach of the year in his first season as Chicago Bears coach. The 2018 year looked very promising on all fronts, offense, defense, and as well as the Bears future with a lot of the pieces that they had at their core intact. 2018 was ultimately ended by, well, you know, that guy. But the way the season played out and the potential that this Bears team had, had fans and the media members as well looking for them to have a bright future in years to come. Mitchell Trubisky was coming off of a 3,000 yard season in 2018, making the Pro Bowl, and he looked like the Bears quarterback of the future for years to come based off how he played and how this team looked in 2018. 2019 ended up being a huge disappointment for the Chicago Bears, mainly on the offensive side of the ball, and the Bears ended up finishing 8-8 eight and eight and missing the playoffs and not living up to preseason hype and expectations for this team going into 2019. The 2019 Chicago Bears offense finished 29th in yards, 29th in points. They were the 25th ranked passing team and the 27th ranked rushing team. Now the defense was still up to snuff and they still played up the par, finishing the league with the fourth best defense, ranked eighth in yards, and they ranked ninth in rushing and as well as passing. So the Bears defense was pretty much still intact even after Vic Fangio left to become the head coach of the Denver Broncos, but the Bears offense failed tremendously and it seen them finish eight and eight and mainly that was because of the defense. And this point in 2019 is where the wheels really started to fall off of the Matt Nagy train with the Chicago Bears. The Bears organization and Matt Nagy saw that they needed a change at the quarterback position for Mitchell Trubisky heading into 2020, and which led them to trading for Nick Foles from the Jacksonville Jaguars in the 2020 offseason. Now watching the 2020 Bears offense, it was still much more of the same from 2019. When the team finished 22nd in points, 26th in yards, 22nd in passing, and 25th in rushing, with an astonishing 27th in rushing attempts, meanwhile being 8th in passing attempts, and that is where the offense really changed for Matt Nagy and the Chicago Bears. Now the Bears defense was still solid, finishing 14th in points, 11th in yards. They had the 15th ranked rushing defense and the 12th ranked passing defense. Now the defense started to slip after 2019, but yet they were still formidable in a very above average defense. But the offense of the Chicago Bears in 2020 just continued to decline downhill from there. Which leads me into the 2021 season where the Bears finished 27th in points, 24th in yards, they were 30th in passing, but they still had one of the top rushing offenses finishing 14th in the league in rushing. 
Now the Bears defense started to dip even more, finishing 22nd points, 16 yards. They finished third in passing, but they were one of the league's bottom ranked rushing defenses in the NFL. And after another abysmal offensive season in 2021, the Bears ended up cutting ties with Matt Nagy. Now here is the real reason that the Matt Nagy era failed in Chicago. The main reason why the Matt Nagy era failed based is solely how he handled the entire quarterback position and the entire offense. Which leads me into the entire Mitchell Trubisky situation, which I believe is the biggest reason why Matt Nagy was eventually fired and why his era did not work with the Chicago Bears. Now we all seen 2018 be Mitchell Trubisky's best season. It was Mitchell Trubisky's best season because number one, his athleticism was used as the weapon. He was one of the top rushing quarterbacks in the NFL. And with that, the Bears were a rushing football team that finished the league sixth in rushing that year. And the offense, even though they didn't score a ton of points in certain games, they were still committed to running the football and using Mitchell Trubisky in his best strengths. Starting in 2019 is where Matt Nagy really started to change his play caller and he really started to change how this offense went. He made the offense into a basic pass happy offense when the Bears roster as constructed was still built as a run first football team. Even with the offseason of trading Jordan Howard to eventually drafting David Montgomery in the 2019 draft in the third round, the Bears built was still a run first team. Now, despite having weapons like Taylor Gabriel, Anthony Miller, Allen Robinson, and Trey Burton, the Bears were still a team that needed to pound the football first. There were a lot of games in 2019, and you can even go back to the very first game of the season against the Green Bay Packers, where the Bears struggled offensively, and they sat Mitchell Trubisky in the pocket more than running him out using those RPOs, using those bootlegs that really played into Mitchell Trubisky's strengths. Mitchell Trubisky was never a pocket passer to begin with, and that would have been okay if there was a scheme that was built around Mitchell Trubisky's strengths. Matt Nagy was one of those coaches where he was going to stick the players in his offense and not really make any adjustments. 2019 was a very disappointing year for Mitchell Trubisky, which led to the Bears organization and Matt Nagy figuring that they needed to have a change at the quarterback position, which led them to trade for Nick Foles before the 2020 NFL season. Going into that 2020 NFL season, Mitchell Trubisky was basically on a very short leash from Matt Nagy because at some point in the 2019 season, which I believe it was the Sunday Night Football Contest against the Rams, Matt Nagy had eventually lost his faith in Mitchell Trubisky to be the Bears quarterback of the future. Going into week three against the Atlanta Falcons in 2020, Matt Nagy still had Mitchell Trubisky as the starting quarterback. But after halftime, Matt Nagy made the switch to go to Nick Foles at the quarterback position, which honestly, Nick Foles, he's more of a pocket passer. And when you watch Matt Nagy's scheme, Nick Foles fits more of a pass happy quarterback than Mitchell Trubisky. Nick Foles is more of a stationary quarterback and more of a pocket man than Mitchell Trubisky has ever been. And I believe with the way he handled that Mitchell Trubisky entire situation was grounds for him to be fired. And the way that this offense looked at 2020 where they struggled to put the football into the end zone for a majority of that 2020 season, which had them on a six game losing streak at one point. Even though this team eventually made the playoffs, they backed into the playoffs as the seventh seed, the new seventh seed that was added in 2020. The Bears were eventually added to the playoffs and eventually got dominated in the playoffs by the New Orleans Saints 21 and nine. And the game wasn't even as close as the score indicates. It was evident at the end of the 2020 season that Mitchell Trubisky had played his last game in the Chicago Bears uniform and that they were going to move in a different direction at the quarterback position. The first move at the quarterback position came when the Bears signed Andy Dalton in free agency. And the next move came as a big surprise as the Bears moved up to the 11th overall pick to select Justin Fields out of Ohio State. Now here's part of the reason why Matt Nagy mishandled this situation as well. 
He named Andy Dalton the starter without giving Justin Fields a chance to compete for the job and without giving him any first team reps. Now, Andy Dalton being a starter was not a bad move, and it was one that I personally agree with as they can let Justin Fields develop and let Justin Fields have some time to watch and see what everything was going on. But here's the main part of why he failed with the Andy Dalton, Justin Fields era. Justin Fields was eventually put in when Andy Dalton hurt his knee in week two against the Cincinnati Bengals. And Justin Fields has some promise and he showed that he can do some things. But going into the Cleveland Browns game and Justin Fields making his first career NFL start, that particular game was where the wheels fell off completely and where Matt Nagy eventually basically fired himself. When you're watching that Cleveland Browns game, Matt Nagy basically forced Justin Fields to get in the pocket. You do not see Justin Fields roll out. You do not see Justin Fields get into those RPOs and be able to use his athleticism as a weapon. And that goes into him not adjusting to the personnel that he has, whether he sticks the personnel into what he wants to run. When you have a quarterback of Justin Fields' talents and Justin Fields' makeup, you have to adjust your offense to better fit him and not just throw him in the offense. And being sacked nine times without any chip on the left tackle Jason Peters to help with Miles Garrett, without any max protection, without any chips on Miles Garrett, that proved right there of the failure of Matt Nagy's scheme and Matt Nagy's play calling with this offense. Now the Bears' strength was running the football, but when you finish 30th in the NFL in passing, in a league today where passing the ball is at premium, you're going to eventually be out of a job, especially when your job was to come in and totally fix this Bears offense. And he failed to adjust to his players. He failed to fit his players into schemes that best work for them. And he failed to handle any of the entire quarterback position correctly. During his entire tenure with the Chicago Bears, the Bears offense was a train wreck and it failed to show any bits of promise outside of 2018 and it failed to show any bits of consistency of scoring points. This Bears offense, no matter who the quarterback was, whether it was Trubisky, whether it was Foles, whether it was Chase Daniel at times, whether it's been Andy Dalton, whether it's been Justin Fields, the Bears offense still failed to show any consistency and still failed to consistently put the ball into the end zone and win games as an offense. And that was the job that Matt Nagy was brought in to do was to help elevate this offense to match a defense that was top 10 and the Bears offense failed to live up to any sort of average expectation at best. And eventually, the way he handled the quarterback position, the way he handled press conferences, and the way he handled just this entire makeup of the offense, which he was brought in to fix, ultimately led to his downfall. Now, one person I think that can do the job and be the replacement is Jim Harbaugh, but that's another video for another day. And if you guys wanna see that video, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave this video a like, that truly helps this channel to grow. And also subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you will not miss any of the videos that I post on this channel. But I am APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great and excellent day, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.